I'm Jill Lynn. I'm a radiation therapist with Music Dermatology. So superficial radiation therapy is something that we offer at Music Derm for any type of patient that has a non-melanoma skin cancer such as basal cell carcinoma or squamous cell carcinoma. It gives the patients options rather than doing any type of surgery or downtime. Also um, it involves no cutting or scarring. So with superficial radiation therapy, it's, we use low doses of energy to treat lesions that are, like I said, right below the skin surface. We utilize kilovoltage rather than any type of megavoltage, so it's very, very superficial and it's very site specific, which means it's only going to affect the area that we treat. So due to the low doses that we use, there's minimal side effects. Patients will receive um, treatments typically three times a week for 20 treatments total. Uh, we do offer different options to patients depending on how far away they live or if they would like to come four days a week. Those are options too and those things can be discussed. So with SRT or like I said superficial radiation therapy there's no scarring, there's no pain, there's no downtime. Typical treatments are about 15 minutes total. So I know a lot of times when a patient hears the word radiation, they get a little nervous, but SRT is a little different. So the traditional radiation that we use for lung cancers and breast cancers, we treat very deep in tissue. So you experience more side effects. You would experience sometimes nausea or vomiting, change in blood counts, but with SRT, you just experience the tiny area that we're treating with some reddening of the skin. So a candidate that would qualify or would prefer SRT is someone who doesn't want to have surgery, someone who doesn't want cutting or scarring. Um, also those patients that would maybe change the function of uh, anatomical part. Let's say a patient has a lesion on their hand. With surgery, uh, we could change the way they, they grasp things. Um, it could change their lifestyle. But with radiation to treat a lesion on the inner part of their hand, they're going to have discomfort during the time that they are under treatment. And other than that, it's, it's minimal side effects. So the cost of radiation therapy can vary from each individual and each patient. Most Medicare patients are typically covered at 100% and commercial insurances will vary depending on the patient's deductible and how much of an out-of-pocket fee they've already paid. So if a patient is interested in SRT, I would reach out to their, their insurance company prior to the patient coming in and we would provide the patient an estimated out-of-pocket fee. So typical treatment protocols are, like I said, three days a week for 20 treatments total. So it's about seven days a week. And then after every fifth treatment, Dr. Music would come into the room and make sure the skin is progressing well. He would answer any questions the patient would have and just assess the area that we're treating. Uh, we also offer treatments to keloid patients as well. And a keloid is like a raised scar. So with keloid treatments, it's a little different. Those patients are only treated three times total. And we use a higher energy and a higher dose for those patients. So I know a lot of patients will ask, you know, why 20 treatments? Why so many? So the reason we do that is because we can deliver a smaller dose throughout the 20 full treatments. And if you spread it over time, it allows the body to heal itself. Typically with this type of treatment, we are going to be killing off cancer cells. And once those cancer cells die off, they can't rebuild themselves. Once they're gone, they're, they're gone. We're killing it and they're dead. Um, so those cancer cells are, have, have been eliminated. We also affect the normal tissue as well. So when you spread that, tr those treatments over those 20 days, the body can rebuild all of those cells. They go through mitosis, they reoxygenate themselves. So that's the reasoning be behind the length and the number of treatments that a patient would be getting. So when a patient um, has agreed to radiation, they'll come in, they'll come into this room, they'll have a seat in this chair, uh, something we call simulation. And a simulation is kind of like a dry run. So we will set the patient up, we will talk about side effects and skin reactions, we will have Dr. Music come into the room and he'll mark the area where the lesion was done, where the lesion was biopsied, and also he'll give me a margin so I know how large of an area I need to treat. Typically, the margin is about a half a cm larger than the actual lesion. 
Um, we'll take a lot of photographs that day, and we'll also be taking a baseline ultrasound. The baseline ultrasound is done so we can determine how deep in tissue the lesion is. The depth depends on the type of energy we'll be using each day. Most simulation days take about 45, 30 minutes, um, depending on how many sites I'm treating. Um, I can treat up to three sites or three lesions at one time. So something we do talk during simulation is about skin care. So the main thing with skin care is I always tell a patient they will experience more, the more treatments they have, the more side effects they're going to notice. So when they are day five into their treatment, they won't see a lot of changes. But by the time they get to day 15, day 20, the skin is going to be red and dry and flaky. So the patient's job is to be very gentle with that area. When they're showering, when they're bathing, take a soapy washcloth, they're going to be dabbing that area clean and dry. Um, also, I'm going to ask them not to put lotion on at least an hour before they come in to see me for their treatment. Um, I will also provide the patient with lotion to make sure they are utilizing lotion after their treatment and then typically before bedtime. And I'll be seeing patients three, four times a day and Dr. Music sees them after every fifth treatment. So if there's some concerns, you know, we can always kind of change the lotions around as well. So typically when a patient comes in, we will decide which applicator we're going to use. These are the applicators that I have. So I can treat with a 5CM applicator. Um, I can treat with a 1.5CM applicator. Those all depend on the actual size of the lesion. And these applicators go into the actual treatment machine. And that's determined on a simulation day as well. We also determine the type of shield that the patient will have. So these are little shields that I place on the patient's skin. So everything inside this little circle is the only area that's being treated if I would use this shield. Patients that have a lesion anywhere below the neck, they're going to be wearing these glasses. And then a patient that has any type of lesions um, above the, right around the, the base of the neck and then also on the face, they're going to be having, having these shields taped to their eyes. Um, also, every patient is going to be wearing the lead apron and a thyroid shield as well. So on the simulation day, a lot of, field, a lot of photographs are taken, um, and also, like I said, the ultrasound is determined uh, to what energy we use. Um, once the patient starts their treatment, then we will be taking ultrasounds every day, and we also take an ultrasound on a doctor visit day as well. Same concept, we want to make sure the depth and the energy that we're using is correct. So patients seen about two, three times a week, I'm sorry, three, uh, three times a week, that's a typical protocol. Patients are in here about 15 minutes for treatment, they won't feel a thing, they're going to hear a humming noise coming from the machine, and other than that, it's pretty quick, it's painless, like I said, no scarring, no downtime, and if a patient has any questions, they can contact our office um, at 628-2588, and my name is Joe Lynn.